because of your geographical location, surrounded by many enemies, you know, mm. you're here in the Middle East, and we could run off the list, Islamic Jihad, Hamas, mm. Hezbollah, mm -hmm. um, you have Muslim Brotherhood, you have ISIS, you have Al-Qaeda, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of groups, mm. radical Islam. Mm. You have to, you have no choice, you have to understand radical Islam. Do you think the world, even in a post 9-11 world, I wonder at times if people know the extent of the threat of radical Islam. I, I hope they do. I mean, the evidence is abundant. What you have right now is this ter terrific conflagration in the Middle East. You have ISIS taking swaths of the Iraq uh, in Syria. It's now pushing uh, into uh, right close to Lebanon and perhaps into uh, Jordan. Um, that's very, very dangerous. And ISIS is basically a, uh, a sister movement of al-Qaeda. You have uh, um, Hezbollah, radical Shiites, fighting radical Sunnis. You have Hamas, uh, and you have in Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, and in North Africa, uh, uh, plethora, uh, plethora of uh, Islamist, uh, Islamist terrorist groups. Now, look, they're all fighting among themselves, but they all just, uh, agree that once they uh, destroy, vanquish their uh, uh, Muslim moderates uh, who are there who don't share their views and they behead them and do horrible things to them. Uh, and then they have to get to uh, Israel, which is the western uh, uh, country in the region. Always here, wipe Israel off the yeah, map. Always, but, but we're the small Satan. For all of them, you're the great Satan. Uh, the, Shi the radical Shiites are backed by uh, Iran. Uh, the radical Sunnis have various uh, backers and so on. And these people fight among themselves who be the king of the hill, but one thing they agree on, it's going to be an Islamist hill, and it's going to be a world dominated by their unforgiving creed, their violent ideology, which rejects modernity, rejects human rights, rejects, uh, puts women as chattel, uh, all minorities are subjugated or eliminated. I mean, it, it, is, it is a terrible, terrible worldview with these competing sects who want to uh, who want to enforce it on the rest of humanity. Those of, of, those of humanity will be left alive. A good portion will be destroyed. Now, this is the danger, that you have 21st century weapons with early medieval uh, doctrines here uh, wedded together. And this is a great danger for the world. Israel is on the front line facing this, uh, uh, this terrible force and should be given support. And who is the world supporting? Is it supporting Hamas, this a terrorist tyranny uh, of the worst kind uh, that is cruel to not only to us but to its own people? Or is it supporting this vibrant, beleaguered democracy Israel that is trying to legitimately defend itself? And I think everybody should ask themselves that question because by supporting Israel, you're supporting yourself. Uh, but I think the greatest danger we face is that these uh, Islamist terrorist groups or nations have the weapons of mass death. Look at the danger that we face when they have rockets and missiles. Now imagine what we'd, what kind of danger we'd have if they can put, if they can put, a nuclear warhead on top of these missiles. That's the danger that is coming from Iran. If in this great melee, in this great conflagration, this great battle, one of these militants, in this case the Shiite militants, backed by Iran, sponsored by Iran. If they have an Iranian nuclear umbrella, if Iran itself can intimidate the U.S. with intercontinental ballistic missiles carrying nuclear warheads, then we bring history into a different threshold altogether. And I know many of the things I've been saying over the years, people have said, well, you know, he's just saying it. Now think about it. This is what I've, this is a danger I've been pointing to. It's not a spin. It's not uh, a whim. It is a clinical uh, diagnosis of a pathological uh, movement that is sweeping our area but will soon come to a theater near you. It has to be stopped now. The ones who are standing right now in front of this tsunami is Israel. Support Israel. Support yourself. And it's not, about, it's not Israel's battle. It's your battle. It's the battle of France because it's the same battle. If they succeed here, if Israel is the one that's blamed here and not the terrorists, if we don't stand together, then this terror plague will come to you. It's just a question of time. It will come to you. It will come to France. You, say, you think so? It will come to France? It's already on the move. 
it'll come, it'll move, because if it's seen as successful, if they can target democratic societies, get them blamed, get them to break their solidarity, when what they know is the moral case that Israel is making, then it will encourage them to move for one step at a time. It's right now across your waters. It's already in North Africa. Two more It'll come to 